So here's a diagram with a circle, tangent drawn. Here's a diameter which is extended and meets at A, the tangent at A. This angle, shaded, angle CAB is the angle we're trying to find the size of. We're told this angle is 58 degrees. So let's go what's called angle chasing. So let's look for a right angle first of all. Here's a radius, OB, and there's the tangent, AE. That angle's 90 degrees between this radius and this tangent. So if part of that angle's 58, the other part will be 32. 58 and 32 makes up 90. There's another right angle triangle. CD is a diameter, so CBD is an angle in a semicircle. So that angle there is right angled. And if part of it's 32, the other part of it must be 58. So there's a 58 and a 32 make up this right angle, the angle in a semicircle, and 32 plus 58 here make up a right angle that's between the radius and the tangent. So, so far so good. Let's look now for isosceles triangles. And they'll come about from the radii of this circle all being equal. So there's two of them. There's one up here, O, B, D. And if this angle's 32, then so is this angle. It's 32. Incidentally, if the three angles in a triangle make up 180, 32 plus 32 is 64. How far do we have to go to get to 180? hundred and sixteen. Let's look at OCB. That's an isosceles triangle, two equal radii. That's 58. This will be 58. And again, this is a double check. If we add up the two 58s, that's 116, and take it away from 180, 64. That'll give us the third angle there. And just check, does 64 plus 116, is that 180? Well, it is. So this makes sense. That's a straight angle. So 64, 116 is 180. So how are we doing? We're doing pretty well. Um, 58, there's another angle that we could get hold of because O, B, a is right angled, 58 plus another 32. Here's another angle we can work out. This is a straight angle through C, 58 degrees. How far to get to 180? So what's 180 minus 58 degrees? That's 122. So this angle in here, 100. And 22. So we're doing quite well. To find out this angle A, let's first of all look at it as being the third angle in triangle ACB. We've already worked out 122 and 32. When we add these up, we get 154. And when we take that away from the angle sum, it's 180, we get 26. So the shaded angle, 26 degrees. Let's try a different tack. This shaded angle is also in triangle AOB. But we've worked out the angles of this triangle. That's 64. And we know this is 90. That's between the radius and the tangent. Now, if 
the angle sums 180, we've already got 90 degrees here, so 64 plus 26 will give us the other 90 degrees. Or you can go 64 plus 90 is 154 and take that away from uh, 180. Either way, 26 degrees for this grey shaded angle. And there's yet another way of doing that. The shaded angle is also part of this large triangle A, B, D. We've already found this is 32 degrees. This angle here is 90 degrees plus another 32. That's 122. So again, we have a calculation for the grey angle of 122 plus 32. And we take that away from 180, which is the angle sum. So it's a, again 180 minus 154, which fortunately comes out to the same answer as the last twice that we did this, 26 degrees. So there's three different uh, triangles that we can use to finally find 26 degrees. But basically, look for right angle triangles, look for isosceles triangles, go angle chasing.